At one point, this driver was the most popular driver to ever have come out in 2008. I'm gonna go and pick up one for 15 quid. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what 128 pounds of my money looks like on the ground. Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's Simon on my way to go and pick up a Ping G10 driver. Yes, Lee Westwood's infamous G10 driver. He had this driver in the bag, I think, for about four years. He put it in the bag in 2007. It got him to world number one in 2010. And I mean, Lee Westwood's a reluctant person when it comes to changing equipment. Um, uh, but it was a very famous driver in terms of gaining yardage, um, as well as just the MOI. It was one of those drivers that you see every four or five years. Like, for example, the Callaway epic in my eyes um, or the ping g400 somehow even though the restrictions are there limitations for whatever reason it just comes out on top compared to anything else that's ever been produced and the ping g10 driver was very much the club and i'm going to go and pick up one for 15 pounds i'm also going to go and pick up a callaway uh, big bertha as well um, i think that was for 45 pounds and then a tightless uh, three iron um, for again 15 pounds so it's 80 pounds altogether trying to make a bit of money on it, trying to flip them, um, uh, but the main idea is actually go and pick this driver up for 15 pounds and obviously the video. Probably not the most profitable trip because I've got to spend an hour and a half in the car, um, but YouTube content, well you guys get it. Right, get some petrol and on our way we go. And we've arrived in Burke Hampstead. Just gonna go and knock on the door now, go and collect the clubs, as I say, 80 pounds for the lot. Um, and I've also got another message that I might be going picking up a um, R11 shaft, or at least the adapter with a stiff flex shaft. I'll keep you posted on that, uh, because I bought a pristine R11 head for 28 quid, including postage a week ago, and I was just waiting for this opportunity for one of those shafts to come up, and it has, and I might be getting that for 20 quid. So 48 quid for an R11 is actually really good. Right, let's go and go and find these clubs and I'll show you the condition. And all the clubs are acquired. A few cobwebs on the head covers, however, the condition is phenomenal. Simon, the gentleman that sold me these, great name by the way, um, uh, obviously good golfer because there's not a mark on the crown whatsoever, which means that these are going to be a lot more uh, valuable to obviously resell as any sky marks on any clubs is always going to devalue them. So really happy with that. Well worth the hour and a half journey. I'll pick up this vlog depending if I go and pick up this extra shaft and then obviously make that R11. Otherwise, I'll get these out at the range and show you them in the daylight and then obviously give them a hit and my thoughts on each of these clubs. And I did pick up the driver shaft. So that's another 20 pounds spent. So 28 on the head, 20 on the shaft. Obviously the important bit is that adapter. It's old school and they're difficult to come across now. Um, uh, but anyway, it's gonna fit in that R11 really nicely. Plan is get home. I'm gonna clean everything, I think. Uh, wash it up. I don't I think I've got time now, especially on a Saturday, to go to the range. Pushing my luck a bit there. Um, but then I will give them a hit in the next part of this video. Um, but overall, very lucrative day. Very excited to show you the condition of all. range sun is out it's getting up to about 28 degrees which we'll definitely take in this country come september um uh, lower hennick driving range if you didn't know this is where i actually teach if you did want to inquire about lessons and you live locally best thing to do is email me there is a small plug three drivers all cleaned up all looking up rather good i'm pretty sure you can guess which one is going to be my favorite um uh, i've hit all of them i tested all of them so let's talk about them uh the price that obviously i got each one for and then potentially one go try and sell them on for as well Three iron that's quite good as well. 
let's get into it. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what 128 pounds of my money looks like on the ground. Matching head covers to go with them as well, um, which is always a bonus, especially when you're buying second-hand clubs. I mean, head covers are worth like 10, 15 pounds more if they obviously attach with the golf club if you're buying or selling so always bear that in mind uh, if you, you are getting a head cover or not getting a head cover or if you are selling a head cover make sure that you're photoing your head covers this thing which i'm pretty sure you've now seen in the photos as i said 28 pounds i bought this for one of my biggest tips is always buy driver heads by themselves because you're going to get a great deal uh, because other people can't be bothered to source a shaft as I say, I've been hanging on to this now for about three weeks. Saw the shaft come up on Facebook, as you saw in the earlier clip. And now I've got an immaculate R11 driver, which looks pristine. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably don't like white drivers. Um, uh, and also, this does have some repercussions, because if you sky it, well, you're going to know about it. But this one has not. This one is in very good condition. And then with this Diamana stiff flex shaft, which I also picked up the other day, £48 for that. And in this climate, when I say this climate, like obviously all secondhand golf stuff, if you've been watching the channel, um, is very high in demand because the amount of people that are now picking up golf, hence why the range is completely full at one o'clock in the afternoon, midweek on a Monday. Um, uh, but yeah. Um, uh, even if I didn't hit this well, it probably still would go out as my favourite buy because, well, let's be honest, with that head cover, the condition alone, even if I shanked all of them, I know I shouldn't say that word, well, it's just a great deal. But enough about that. Okay, we've talked about the R11 enough. Let's talk about the cheapest driver of this entire deal. Nine degree, stiff flex, ping at G10 driver very successful driver in the hands of lee westwood um uh, unfortunately does have a bag wear mark down the shaft which you can see there when it comes to bag wear marks guys these shafts are still quite strong like bearing in mind don't get me wrong this devalues the club there's no question about it but if there isn't a dent on the shaft it means you've literally just worn away the paint um i'd still be skeptical um it's not always um certified that it's not going to break on you but in my experience obviously i've hit test everything i've got quite a fast club head speed 120 plus and it hasn't broken it hasn't snapped so I wouldn't be put off buying a great deal just because bag wear marks. If there's a dent in it, like you can see a dent in the shaft because it's worn so much, then obviously that is going to be an issue. Um, uh, but typically, they're all right. And again, 15 quid. I mean, I mean the shaft you can even get for 15 quid. Uh, Stiff flex. Overall, very good driver. I mean, if you're just starting this game and you're not watching my channel for the first time, I highly recommend this G15, G20, G25. Try and spend 40 to 50 pounds uh, and get one of you get one of these drivers. These were worth 40, 50 pounds, and come Christmas, they probably will be again. Um, but at the moment, I mean, these things are selling for 80, 90, just because obviously the demand is so high. Um, uh, I'm not suggesting go and spend that now. If you can wait, then wait. Um, but if you do want a very good forgiving driver, then well, you can't really go wrong with Ping. And then the long ball machine, which is Callaway. Big Bertha Alpha. Um, uh, this thing is so unforgiving. This is basically TaylorMade's SLDR. Um, uh, this It just goes like an absolute monster. You can see how deep the head is there. It's basically a long drive head. Uh, weights at the front, everything's at the front. When you catch this, which I'll show you one of my um, swings with it, it just goes and I hit, um, uh, I think I hit the ping first in one of the clips, then this. I hit them basically all in the row and this just went so much further i haven't got the stats for it because i've got a launch monitor that is to come hold your horses um but if you want one drive out of 18 holes to go an absolute mile this is your bad boy ping at g10 on the ground there i'd say is the most forgiving that is the best combination between head and shaft and if i was to play tomorrow with any of them is obviously be the tailor-made r11 um uh, followed by the g10 just because i don't need length I need to find a fairway, which is um, uh, one of my big downfalls and hence why I'm not playing on tour. Well, actually, there's loads of reasons why I'm not playing on tour. It's not just my driving. We could talk about all my stats. 
and then a few stingers hit which I'll show you now with this three iron three irons are just very popular because um, uh, you can have any brand make whatever you like in the bag as a three iron 710 712 714 716 it really does not matter um, uh, it's more about the condition this was a very good um, cleaner three iron a minute ago obviously it's not now um, after being hit with a few shots but overall that's good grips good I mean 40 pounds 45 pounds I'm probably looking to get for that and obviously I paid 15 pounds for it um, uh, overall I would say I'm probably looking to get 300 pounds for everything plus this on the floor and then you take away fees postage everything else so I mean if I can make 150 quid that was obviously a good afternoon out but then three hours driving petrol wear and tear I could could have just done a few lessons but that would have not made a very good video would it Simon so even though I thought this was going to be the highlight of this video, and to be honest, it easily could be because it's such a good driver, especially for its time and what it did uh, to the market when it came out in terms of forgiveness, and then also ball speed launch, the whole package. Um, uh, however, the highlight now for me has to be this kind of combination. And as I said at the start, buying a head only, you don't even need to know how to reshaft nowadays. You can just make sure you get the right adapter and the right head. It's a very good way of finding a great deal. I bought an Epic Flash brand new sealed head for £200. As soon as I whack a decent shaft in it with a decent grip, it's back to worth £350. Um, uh, it's just a good way of finding a value and um, I always every week browse what are the heads that are just selling by myself and even though I didn't have an adapter for this I didn't have a shaft for it I knew sooner or later I was going to come across one and I've literally found the perfect fit giving me a very cool looking driver for under 50 pounds one of my biggest tips and I hope you guys take full advantage of that Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching this video. Thank you uh, for all the comment support that you have been giving to my channel. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Like, that's the biggest mistake of your life. Why have you not already done that? And I'll catch you guys later.